welcome to Lyddon Hill. It's uh, the Winter Rallycross Series and the weather is traditionally British today. Unfortunately, it's cold, it's wet, but we're here for Rallycross action. I'm competing today for the R1 Motorsport team in the up to 1600 two-wheel drive class. I'm gonna take you over for a little walk through the paddock. Uh, and we're gonna go and have a little look at the car that I'm competing in and uh, also meet the team as well. So uh, I've hired this car for the day here uh, at Lyddon and uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see how we get on really because I competed here last in September for the Polish UK Rallycross team but we're here today with R1 Motorsport and this is the car we're going to be competing in a Citroen C2 um, in the production class so I'm kind of looking forward to it really to be honest with you it's going to be a bit of a step into the unknown uh, having not raced this car before obviously weather conditions here as well uh, a little bit sketchy I think it's probably fair to say because the last time I was here in these conditions I was on a motorbike and I actually broke my collarbone um, hopefully we won't be doing anything like that like that today although it is quite difficult to fall out of the car unless something's gone very wrong um, but yeah we're looking forward to it it's going to be quite good fun to see how we all get on uh, lots of stiff competition up and down the field a lot of drivers who compete in British Rallycross or the BTRDA uh, using this event uh, pre-season as a bit of a test bed for their seasons ahead so uh, yeah it's going to be interesting to see how it all fares out <laughs> So this car, um, I've not driven it before, but I've been told that it's actually a little bit heavier than the 106 that I drove back in September. So that should be quite good on the gravel, especially in the weather conditions that we've got today. It's quite slippery out there, so obviously a little bit more weight over the front wheels will make things easier. Centre of gravity is a bit higher because it's a little bit taller. It's a bit of a step into the unknown, uh, as I said, with this machine, but the team are doing a really good job of preparing it. They're working on the tyre pressures at the moment and working out the uh, sort of correct setup for these conditions, which is quite important, really. So first race here at Lyddon Hill, sadly an early end, uh, unfortunately of my own making as well. Sent it into uh, Chesson's drift, rear uh, stepped out and then it kicked back the other way. I was doing what you should normally do in a front wheel drive car, which is when the rear steps out, throttle it up, throttle it up and it just kicked back too quickly, ran out of room, straight into the barrier, quite a hard hit on the uh, 
near side front, the left front, so the team are working to try and see if they can fix it at the moment. Uh, broken light lens wheel was rubbing on the uh, wing where that had been dented in as well. We're just waiting to see whether there's any more damage, possibly a track rod end, uh, something along the lines of that. But yeah, it's a disappointing end really to the first race. I was. I felt really comfortable and really confident, actually, which is a bit of a shame. You know, got the first lap out of the way, didn't get a particularly good start, but was, you know, keeping my own pace, joking on the second lap, things were going really well. And then into the third lap, I thought, well, this is, this is going all right. And I was doing exactly what I did on the previous laps, you know, same driving style, same everything. But the problem I had is obviously the conditions have changed and I ran out of talent. So unfortunately, uh, that's the end of the first race. We've got three more heats, so, oh, sorry, two more heats, I should say, rather one final. Uh, obviously, it depends on whether we'll get into that now because we've DNF'd in the first one and obviously whether the car can be repaired as well, but R1 Motorsport doing a brilliant job of uh, just checking everything over, hopefully praying, fingers crossed, everything will be all right. So let's see how it goes and uh, hopefully we can get back out for the next heat very shortly. It's just a real shame really more than anything you know I felt really confident going into it I was really confident in that first race probably too confident and that's what caused the incident having had a look back now it's just one of those things lost the rear going into it it snapped back the other way and then just ran out of room to correct it by the time it snapped back the other way a bit of a passenger really more than anything so it's a shame but you know these things happen it's part of motor racing the team R1 Motorsport have been phenomenal with uh, helping out and getting the car fixed and sorted so with a bit of luck we'll be able to get out uh, in time for heat three and who knows maybe we'll fare a little bit better and in theory we'll be able to see the chequered flag So the team have just got the car fixed. As you can see, it's now full rally cross spec. So uh, yeah, everything is all fixed and ready to go. We should be out for heat three. Just drove the car very quickly uh, around the paddock just to make sure that everything's okay. Wheels aren't pointing in different directions. It was steering pretty straight. So we're looking in good shape really for heat three, which is good. I'm not quite sure of our starting position, but that's kind of irrelevant at the moment, really. All I need to do is get back out in heat three, get some confidence back out really in myself and also in the car. Uh, and not overdo it, you know, don't send it towards the barrier, just take things steady I think from now on is probably the name of the game because I was overconfident I think going into that first race having had a really good practice session and that I think was ultimately my downfall, just going into the corner too quickly at racing speed, lost it and you know that obviously is the end result so with a bit of luck we should be in better shape and uh, yeah let's see how we get on in heat three, hopefully we'll make the chequered flag, well no we will make the chequered flag, that's the aim and that is what we're going to do.
Just finished up heat three here at Lydon Hill, finally back out in the car, which is great. Um, started on the second row of the grid towards the outside, so decided before I went out that I was going to joker on the first lap if that was possible. Uh, everybody got a better start. I still haven't got that nailed down at all. I was just spinning the wheels way too much. I mean, you'll see from the onboard shot, uh, I just got absolutely no drive away from the lights at all. But other than that, everything went relatively okay. It was a pretty uneventful race. I was pretty slow, I won't be, I'll be honest with you. Um, but it was pretty uneventful as well, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted a nice steady race to sort of build myself back up into it. I think we've just about made the finals, which is quite useful as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, not a particularly big race to talk about, not really many big talking points. There was a Citroen Saxo that I was following over the course of that race, which was doing some good things out there on track. But otherwise, yeah, you know, I was relatively calm. Lap times were probably pretty slow as well. But the main aim for that one was just to get to the chequered flag, try and rebuild some of the confidence that I lost on that shunt earlier on this morning. I made sure the car was working okay as well. I didn't want to push anything too hard just in case I uh, managed to send it into the barrier again and, and damage something else because it's already going to be quite an expensive repair bill. But yeah, everything working fine. So I think we made it through to the finals, so all in all, positives to take away from Heat 3. Just finished the final here at uh, Lynn Hill in the up to 1600 class. Really uh, good actually, more than anything. I tell you what, that was phenomenal. We've got a really good launch on the lights, which makes a change. Seemed to just get the biting point, pulled over at the right time. Didn't joke on the first lap to site, uh, starting on the outside. So yeah, really happy with the start. Pace in the early stages was pretty good, was keeping up with pretty much everybody else. Joke had going on to the second lap, which probably cost me a little bit of time to be honest with you, because I kind of lost my rhythm at that point after following all the other cars. Kind of put me a bit out of kilter. I think the main uh, Achilles heel over the course of that race uh, was my pace going into the first corner. I was lifting off way, way too soon um, and just not carrying enough speed in. I think that's a bit of a consequence of the incident that we had uh, earlier on this morning. But otherwise, yeah, I was really, really happy with that. Might have finished last in that final, but I had so much fun. I was gridding from ear to ear. The main thing I seemed to struggle with actually going into Chesson's Drift was just understeer. Uh, you'll see some onboard shots of me in the car where I was turning in and just holding my hand up like that because I couldn't get the purchase on the tyres. I was wanting to get on the power, but it was just going straight on like a canal boat. So, yeah, unfortunate that, but otherwise, yeah, really happy with how things have gone and huge credit to the R1 Motorsport team and everybody involved here at Lyndon Hill. R1 Motorsport, especially because of the damage that was inflicted earlier on today. They did a phenomenal job of getting that car repaired and uh, sorted out. Lyndon Hill for organising it. Everybody who's been involved in today has been brilliant. It's run like clockwork despite mixed weather conditions and uh, such like as well. And also a huge thank you has to go to the uh, marshals and all the officials that have made today take place. So yeah, a learning experience I think probably is how I would put down as uh, today because it has been one of those. It's been frustrating in some aspects, it's been thrilling in others, but it's been really enjoyable more than anything. It's been great to be back in Rallycross and uh, yeah, let's hope that uh, I can get out on track again very soon.